right. And I got for another one. I'll do in the same month. That's unprecedented. So, let's do it. Unusual gunpowder falls crossings. First comes the big gunpowder. The parking lot back there for the trail was very busy, very full. I guess that was stuff lifted, restrictions lifted. Folks are back out again. You've been warned. And the PR on the right, a former gas station now grown over. And there's trees somewhere. Barely make it out. But I recall when that still ran. Well, hey, wagon. And here are little gunpowder crossing. And of course, more folks enjoying the trails around here, the hiking trails. I've already done them, I've already enjoyed them. Back on this road. But, once again, got some different roads in mind. And, of course, gotta cross this thing again. That's all we ever do. Or so it seems. Up here is US 222. Our last drive took us north on that road. We'll stay north on this one. They're both northbound routes, but right now we're facing the most due east. Route 1 bears left here, but I'll be ready to take the original Route 1, the pre-1960 Route 1. Be back on that one eventually. Plus, haven't been through here in a while. And ahead, the, the place have been in a while. Right here, rising sun. It's sunny out there, so I guess the sun did rise. And it appeared that once I am out to Rayra Secondary, used to cross beneath the bridge up here. This road is across over a bridge. But the cut's been filled in, the bridge removed. But there are the wires to, to follow the right of way. Hope I said that right. But on the other side of town, the original US 1 bears off again. And here's where that happens or happened, right there is the bear that way. I still get onto it by going up to the intersection up ahead and hanging the left, which I will do right here. Silmar Road. Oh, the beehive there. And here we join that half mile turn coming from over there. Over the hump, now the original US-1. Hard to believe that before the late 50s, this was Route 1. If you'd like, you can watch the entire route, because we've got the, a day honestly posted where we take US-1, the original US-1, in its entirety. Yep, day honestly posted. And here is some RPA here. Or still Maryland, where the line in the road ends, we cross state lines right here. No MPA officially. Notice up here another crossing 
of the former Artillero Secondary, with tracks still buried in the road. Right here. I've seen that to you before. The road kept going that way, but it now dead ends. Thanks to the modern day Route 1, which I will bend this way and get onto. The original road once crossed from left to right up here. Well, this road cuts it in two. Would have crossed right here and gone along those poles that direction. Now out of sight. By the one time visible. But up here we depart Route 1 in favor of PA 10. And here it is, northbound. But again, not a bad day out there though. Temps in the 70s and not very humid. I guess that's ideal. Now we're arriving here. Route 41 passes here, which you've been over before. And the day trip I took you on last year. And that's it for Cochranville. Back in the spaces. And again, old weathered stuff. My favorite. Haven't been this way in a few years myself, which makes it tricky remembering all the points of interest. But I'll try to pick out a few. Well, out of the woods, okay. We're out of the woods. Just like the Wizard of Oz, we're out of the woods. Now entering Parksburg, or at least trying, long line of traffic in front of me, and up ahead crosses the Keystone Corridor of Amtrak. Left goes to Pittsburgh, right goes to Philly, Philadelphia. Apparently all the farms are still producing but no way to get the goods to the markets, hence the rising prices. Other factors as well. More traffic than usual. People keep stopping and starting, but no one's turning. Still don't know why folks are slowing up. Oh, traffic light around the bend. But there wasn't back there. And the US 30. Hershey Motors. Get a car and some chocolate at the same time. And the US 30. And finally gone from back there. Oh, another cool farm. That's a bad curvature around here. That was 25 around here. I'm going over that and still being tailgated. I'll be alright. Yeah, take your time. That's the reason I shouldn't be tailgated. What if I gotta stop? I'm gonna hang it right here to keep on 10. I guess I have a nice behind because the car behind me has been on it long enough.
A straight stretch of road there, up the hill. A big farm complex there. And our next point of semi-interest, Honeybrook. Some place up here, a track once crossed, but got pulled up about 25, 30 years ago, before the intersection up here. Long gone. And back in the spaces, obviously. Anyway, so far I've come 78 miles, and it's 5.11 in the afternoon. We departed between 2.30 and 3 sometime. But now I'm part of the road I haven't seen in almost a decade. It's been a while since on this part of Route 10. Again, slowing down for something. I'll make it a turn, okay. I guess that's legit. A semi-nice view there. Approaching Interstate 176, which we're not going to take, although back in the day I used to. Now entering Morgantown, PA. And from here on, my first time on this part of PA-10. First time on this part of PA-10. So again, seeing this for the first time, just as you are. Unless, of course, you've been this way. And over here, Pennsylvania Turnpike Access, which we're not going to use. We don't need it. Plus, they make you pay money. It's a free country, but it's got to pay a toll to get across it. Doesn't sound right. So, let's see what this part of the road has in store for us. some stuff. Uh, not much, though. And I'm passing through Plowville. Nope, didn't make that up. A descending downgrade. And again, curves that won't quit. Bridge says I-176. We saw that a few minutes ago. Looking for another highway number I saw on Google Maps. It ends in either four or five. Three digit, but I'll keep looking. Even I have to play it by ear sometimes. I know. All y'all think I know the roads. I know what you're thinking. And up there, a mountain. All right. Your mountain man is back in his element. Ex Conrail line there. Probably Norfolk Southern now. Now coming into the Reading area. And up here, PA-10 comes to an end. So I guess I'll take whatever this is. 222 northbound. Three digits, but not the one I was looking for. 
Maybe I'll hang a left here. Onto 422 West. I think I know that road. I think I passed the road I was looking for. A left merge. Hold on, back at you. I think I've been on this part of 422. But it's been about 30 years. So trying to piece things together now. I do recall the road though, where I'm starting to. Yeah, first time this way in about 30 years. But that part of the road I haven't seen yet. This part of 422. Normally when we get to Reading, we'll get to the north on another road. If I had more time, I would. Another one of the many hamlets along our route. And again, facing the sun, making photography awkward. Coming into Sinking Spring. I have to think there is a fault line running from here southwest to Elk Ridge, Maryland. One long fault line that occasionally moves. The earthquakes aren't much though, just window rattlers in essence, but still that fault does shift on occasion, and windows do rattle. But no damage other than that. No damage at all. Yeah, but now we're on top of a fault line. Thought I'd warn y'all. If that fault line shifts too far, this place called Sinking Spring will really be sinking. And again, into the spaces. Kinda, sorta. You have a bright sun up there. Where's the corona? Oops, don't want to see that right now. But nope, another hamlet. Lots of hamlets along this route. Lots of little pigs. More Shakespearean plays. Everyone will look at it. But now I'll stop by this cool train station that Dolly spotted, and apparently we're about to get a run by. I hear bells in the distance. There you go. With distant church bells. Cool station stop back there. You've got to run by. And Dolly wants all y'all to know that she spotted it before I did. <laughs> she insists that, that all y'all know that she saw it first. You know how women are. 
And again, departing town. At least we get to the next one. And sure enough, now we're in another one. And again, back in the spaces. See for how long this time. They're really not too spacey. And now we've come 111 miles. And it's 6.11 p.m. And I get a part of the road that either I don't remember or I haven't been on in over 30 or 40 years. If I'm not mistaken, this road should end us up in the Hershey area. I thought it might have been this way once before, but now I'm not sure. Before Hershey, we should pass through Lebanon, this county's seat. Lebanon County, obviously. And, sure enough, yep, back in Lebanon. Baloney, anybody? If I'm not mistaken, we passed through here on our previous odyssey. The one before this. But a part of the town I haven't seen in a while. We passed that way in our last odyssey, Route 72 northbound. So we've been through here last week. Now we're departing. Sorry, didn't pick up any baloney. Now in a place called Cleona, if I'm saying it right. But already, departing. About another 10 miles to Hershey. But something tells me not much open space between here and there. But look, found one more train station for you. I can probably know Fox Southern operates that. But apparently it's far back from the tracks. Either it was moved, or a track went by it at one time. Well, the track was realigned, whatever. One more station on air route. And again, Dolly wants you to know that you found that train station too. She saw a sign that said train station, so I turned up that street and I found it. She's too ahead of me today, too ahead. Anvil, PA. Well, keep you far out of Hershey now. Can't be all that far. You know how I know? No more open space. Or very little of it. By the way, just did a pit stop. But didn't feel like documenting it. So continue down the road. All kinds of hamlets on this road. But not in Hershey quite yet. Ah, run it! There. Your bullfrog did it. Caught on SD chip. Nobody uses tape anymore. 
Anyway, now 7.35 p.m. And we've come 137 miles. And here it is, Chocolate Town, PA. They were there, the factory itself. We got the chocolate factory. Where's Willy Wonka these days? Notice the lights here in this town are Hershey's Kisses. Every other one wrapped, every other one unwrapped. Pretty cool, huh? And we're on Chocolate Drive. Some place here is the connection to Interstate 83. I just gotta find it. Up here, US 422 comes to an end. We should wind up on US 322 somewhere, and then 83. And sure enough, they're on US 322. And a part of this road I haven't seen in about 20 years, give or take. From here to 83, I haven't seen in 20 years. Still gonna watch out for jerks on the road though. And now officially on Interstate 83. This part of the road we saw in our last Odyssey. Well, from here on. And again, the Susquehanna. Just as our last ride, returning on I-83. Got a loop around up here. Back at you. Made it. And officially heading back home. I won't be shooting too much of this because I caught all this last time around. And just as last on our last ride, I get passing through the York area. And soon we're back in Maryland. And right here is where that happens. Right here where the pavement changes. Yep. Officially back in Maryland. There's, I keep saying, we still got miles to go before we sleep or do anything else. He's been blinking for a long time now. Flashing signal, but hasn't done anything. Maybe they forgot, as we all do on occasion. Got about 20 miles, actually. But those miles will go by quick. If that and about, do your part. Keep social distance. Getting to be more like anti social distance. But anyway. Those 20 miles went by rather quick, just as I thought. See? Back in suburbia. I told you it wouldn't be long. And back in you know where. Today's journey, 224 miles. Almost 9.15 p.m. now with some distant music, must be a backyard party or something like that. What else can it be? But anyway, once again, thank you very much for the privilege of your time. As long as I have my fans out there, I'll try and keep these things coming. Well, firecrackers. A couple weeks early, but what do you do? All right, don't shoot.
But again, thanks, folks. I'll see you again. Assuming, of course, that, that those aren't gunshots I'm hearing.